as we sit here um, uh, nine days before the release, official release in the U.S. Uh, for Earth's Blood, uh, you know, there's many people out there in the country who are, you know, wanting to get their hands on the CD. Um, how, do, how do you feel now? Are you, uh, are you really anxious? I know you guys are going to get really, really busy soon. So talk a little bit about uh, as we look in the short term. Uh, and I know later on this summer, there's going to be huge things uh, going on for God forbid. So uh, what is what is the plan in the short term? I know you also you guys just finished doing a video. So how do you feel kind of are you really antsy about the uh, Feb 24th right around the corner? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really not. Um, it's, it, we've been through it so many times. You know what I mean? Like we've gotten the big tours. We've we've done the press, you know, and and really like I think I myself had the whole idea of not expecting anything for this record because I think on Constitution of Treason we came off a big record and we expected things and it seemed like anything that we got wasn't good enough you know and on this record I decided to say you know what fuck it it's just you know we wrote a record I'm proud of the record um, I, I think that the record is very strong um, and you know people are going to enjoy it and whatever comes comes and that's why I think we got the good tours because we weren't sitting there worried about getting it uh, you guys just announced uh, where it was announced uh uh, worldwide uh, that there's going to be some huge tours so talk a little bit about some of the the touring work that you're going to be doing upcoming well immediately pretty much the day that the album comes out in the states we start a tour with, in Europe with El Nino and it's about four weeks and it's, it's interesting because we've never started like our touring cycle in Europe and um, the album's just been getting like really good reviews over there and there's just a lot of really great feedback and the ticket sales are really good so there's kind of like um, feels like a good omen like right right out the gate like it's not going to be a massive tour but it's going to be a very very good tour and like we really are trying to break out in Europe you know so then we come home and then we start the no fear tour with Lamb of God Azalea Dying Children of Bodom and Municipal Waste which is obviously going to be one of the biggest tours of this of the spring I don't know I feel blessed you know in a, in a, in a sense to be able to come out the gate with this brand new record on on the tour that everyone else wants to be on you know and 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 we got it and get to give ourselves a chance to really showcase the band almost like reintroduce the band to to the, the metal scene and we were counted out for a little while too you know so when we go when we get these tours like you know now it is in the music industry you know if you're not hot you're not you know what i mean and but, so like you know we've had some issues and then you know within a couple weeks we got you know the mayhem tour which he didn't explain we were doing mayhem in the summer but now it seems like everyone is all about it and literally like maybe like how huh, a month and a half two months ago nobody was about it like you know and it's just one of these things where it's like with the expectations of the band and the touring it's kind of like when you've been through that i mean we've been through that countless amounts of times over and over again and like now it's just like yo you know what i'm saying put your money where your mouth is well, excellent it sounds like you guys are gonna uh, be out on the road for quite some time in support of earth's blood let's talk about uh the video for war of attrition we were talking about it earlier uh, what can fans expect from the new video? Who directed it? Things like that. Well, um, the director is Ian McFarland. He did the last Meshuggah video for Bleed, um, and Mike Petchy is his DP. They like work together, and um, this is this the first video he's done since the Meshuggah video because he he picks and chooses his stuff. But um, we kind of went up and down with the video. We were we, we me and Doc have been all about patience on this album, so we didn't want to rush anything out. War of Attrition just seemed like a good good song and. When I was thinking of a treatments to do, because like I do the film stuff, so I was thinking of treatments, I couldn't think of anything for that song that would work in a story. And I said, you know, this is a really, this would be a, the best performance video. So I called up Ian, I was like, yo, let's, you know, let's do this, let's do this. And he put it together. And the look of the video, I mean, it's actually kind of crazy. I think it might be our, like a really, really, really good performance video, because it looks like we're playing live almost. Mm -hmm. But, but we're not, it's like a really, it looks big, you know what I mean? It looks like, I mean, Byron's wearing a leather jacket, looking all cool and shit, you know? And like, you know, we're, we're, we're playing and like, they have these great camera angles, but it's it's not like, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say expect the world out of the video, but I think that it might do well for us because a lot of people say that we're better live. Mm -hmm. And I think that this might capture a live feeling. Uh, obviously we haven't seen the, the final product the final product yet, but, yeah. but you know, from what it looked like, it, it should really have a really, kind of like slick stylized look with some really great photography and lighting and stuff so we'll, we'll see what we'll see the way it turns out you know hopefully we don't talk all this shit and then we hate it you know but i i, I think we really will like it though yeah well, well we'll send it to you as soon as we get it so, so you can give us the uh, thumbs up or the thumbs down regardless it will be on the big metal show here at rob's metal works 
even if it sucks. Um, you guys, uh, you know, pe some people uh, uh, regionally know, but you guys are here in San Antonio today to partake in our little press conference and uh, listening party for Earth's Blood. Um, so I think all the people out there in San Antonio who uh, are going to come out this evening, one, are going to have, uh, going to probably be the first people uh, in the country to hear uh, Earth's Blood and buy Earth's Blood in a public arena. Uh, and we're gonna jam it loud tonight at Cabo too. Uh, I'll make sure of that. But um, I want to. Probably not as loud as the Casa though. <laughs> Probably not as loud. Because last night, okay, I'll tell. I'll tell you the story. Okay. We weren't gonna bring this up. Last okay. night, we you know we were kind of, we were kind of drunk. And uh, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we were hammered drunk. And then Rob, like you know, Rob has some. He has seal, he has speakers in his ceiling. You know what I'm saying? This that you that that's a sign right there. All right. So pretty much you're you're getting the house. The house is speaking right. So he turns up the music, he's like, I'm gonna turn it loud. And then he puts it on, but he turns it up fucking loud, all right? He turns it up so loud that me and Doc start singing our own songs. <laughs> and we were feeling it. And then he turned it off because it was getting kind of embarrassing. So thank you. Thank, thank you for embarrassing us for us. So. That's how, that's how I like to vibe, man, on my, on my favorite metal bands. Um, so um, I also uh, want to thank you guys for coming down here uh, to San Antonio, um, taking uh, part um, of your time uh, as you are about to get uh, very, very busy with Earth's Blood, but coming down to San Antonio, spending some time with the San Antonio fans and, and fans in the region. Um, any, any anticipation uh, uh, of what you'd like to see tonight at the press conference or with the listening party? I know that there's going to be many fans and a lot of people who work promotions and um, uh, a lot of publicity people coming out tonight to talk about Earth's Blood uh, in the near future. So uh, I hope you guys have cleared all the cobwebs and, and gathered your thoughts because uh, the questions and the and all the all the inquiries are still yet going to be forthcoming later this evening. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to expect. I just hope I don't see one of those things that go by in those westerns. Those. <laughs> Those wind uh, things and I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I just don't. I, as long as there's no tumbleweeds, you know what I'm saying. I just want to, you know. But I'm sure there'll be people there. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is. I, I think it's kind of ironic that we're doing a press conference because it's not like you know, it's not like we landed a plane on the Hudson or something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We just, uh, you know, made a, made a pretty kick-ass record. I mean, I don't know. Ask Doc about that because he's a, you know, well, he's I'm the star. <laughs> no doubt, you're, you're the star. Uh, well, I've been doing press for. I mean, collectively, we've been doing press for. for a couple months now so I I'd be amazed if I heard a question I haven't heard already okay. so <clears throat> we'll see I mean I you set it up so we're, we're it's kind of like well we'll, we'll, we'll we'll see what it is and hopefully we just ha we'll have a good time either way um, any last words before we close out um, anything that you want to share anything that I missed uh, with the people uh, in San Antonio or people around the world later who will see this interview on on, on the web um yes um, you know thank you for watching this and thank you for supporting Rob's Metalworks. I saw his new graphics and I'm telling you, gets me amped up, you know what I'm saying? I feel, feel like I'm in the Matrix in this house now, you know what I'm saying? Um, no, I, I just want to thank anybody, everybody for supporting us, anybody who supports us. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty crazy to be together for so long and actually have these opportunities when like 10 years after we actually were green. Any last words, Doc? Thank you. Thank you for, for being so, um, so gracious and and uh, you know it's just it's it's it's, it's amazing you make us definitely feel at, feel at home and you know it's we definitely appreciate every, everything that's going on and can't wait to have some fun tonight and can't wait to get the record out and get back to being rock and rollers <laughs> well you will definitely see uh, the Rob's Metalworks crew out at Mayhem and all the tours this summer so we're, we're gonna have more fun uh, later on this year thanks Dallas thanks Doc for everything remember San Antonio the brand new Earth's Blood CD is going to drop in nine days on February 24th. You can buy it anywhere across the country or you can go to GodForbid1.com. Go to MySpace forward slash GodForbid. You can buy songs there and get the whole CD in your hand. Remember, you saw Dallas and Doc of GodForbid only right here on Rob's Metalworks.